All right, so it's no secret that AI is going to be a threat to many tech jobs in the future. This is no secret to both of us, you watching this video, it's obvious. It's it's a threat, right? Especially um, software in engineer type jobs. You know, this is, it's just going to happen. And this is not me trying to make a doom and gloom type of video, but, you know, a video to help people be aware if you're not, you know, that person right now, being aware of what's taking place in 2024. Like, it's really important that you have that kind of mindset of being aware and take action, right? So maybe that's the solution. Just be aware. Uh, before we continue speaking, my name is Ario DeJuice from Juicy Tech YouTube channel. Um, special thank you to our good friends over at Course Careers, which is a online training program that has helped many people, including myself, land a job in the tech space. I work as a IT support specialist. That's my current occupation. And if you're looking to earn between 50K to six figures plus, which is still possible in today's world, um, definitely check out Course Careers. More information down below. But I do want to talk about something very important, like I just mentioned earlier, in regards of the tech space. Even though I just promoted a program or a course that can help you land a job in this field, I like to be honest. I love to be just straight up with people. And I I, I, I got to tell you, like I said earlier, AI is a threat to a lot of jobs. It, it is what it is, right? Again, we're, it's, it's obvious to us, you watch this video, you know this is a thing. And in the coming future, as AI gets more mature or automation, a lot of jobs will be replaced or it will become irrelevant because there's a machine to do that or to perform that job, you know, well. And there's no need to have a human being involved anymore. Now, again, this is not a doom and gloom video. I love to be honest. I love being honest. I have friends that are software engineers, right? And they have years of experience, at least three to four years of experience. And even they're having a hard time landing a job as an engineer, right? I mean, the whole interview process, four to five rounds of interviewing, ridiculous. But this is what they're going through. And they have years of experience. And they're still going through this nonsense as if they're a junior developer. And they're not. But my point I'm trying to make is, again, is to be aware, right? I'm not saying that's your solution. I, I don't know what to tell you, but just to very much be aware, and this goes beyond tech. This this is the same applies to someone that works in trucking, hospitality, logistics. You know, your industry is changing and it's best to be aware of what's taking place in terms of the, the different technologies they're looking to implement. Is that going to affect your livelihood for the worse or the opposite and that's something just to very much you know participate in which is being aware doing research reading art reading, like reading articles watching videos just trying to get in this mindset of figuring out what's going on so i can make my move because by someone not being aware to me it's almost like you're blind and you're just walking around the streets and blind can't see anything that's dangerous and this is how i look at people that are not aware of their industry so back to tech right back to technology and especially for engineers right someone that works as a front-end de like the de de developer a back-end developer someone that works in ui or maybe a full stack i think it's time to very much focus on what's taking place and you know I'm, I'm not saying you're going to lose your job I, I don't want to put that out there but i do want you to be aware in terms of you know companies are very much i mean I, there's no reason why they're not going to adopt the idea of automation where it's going to help them cut cost right and time by having a machine do or perform a job that a human being once did. Why would it not take advantage? I mean, look at Walmart. There's self-checkouts everywhere. There's barely any cashiers on the floor because there's machines to do it for them. There's no need to be hot for me to hire a human being to, to, to help you check out. There's a machine to do that. The same thing applies for McDonald's. You know, a cashier 
has been replaced by a kiosk. Taco Bell, Burger King, same thing. A computer is now taking orders and helping customers check out. That was once a human being's job. There's less cashiers on the floor, right? There's 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 cash there's cashiers everywhere now. There's cashiers. I don't see cashiers at Walmart. Like they're not gone completely, right? They're not gone completely. Even for Taco Bell, Burger King, there's still cashiers at these establishments or environments, right? So that's what's going on. But you best believe they have very much downsized the amount of cashiers they once had. I remember a time going to McDonald's in the early 2000s where there was at least three or four cashiers taking orders, checking out customers. And now there's maybe like one, right? Now, McDonald's has downsized the idea, not down, not, not not the idea, but they have downsized. They're, they're cashiers. There's no need to have this many people on the floor when they have a kiosk. You best believe the same thing is going to apply for companies that hire software engineers. It's going to be the same exact practice. They're not going to just get rid of everyone. It's it's not going to happen in our in our in 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 our lifetime. I don't see this happening. I could always be wrong, but I don't see them just eliminating every human being you know for that department not gonna happen it's not realistic what is realistic is what i just mentioned about burger king and mcdonald's they have downsized their team of cashiers there's no need to have four or five anymore one is good enough the same thing will be applied to companies that hire engineers software engineers there's no need to hire 20 of them Maybe two or three, that's it. All, that's all I need because now there's machines to do those jobs that human beings once did, writing code or de- de- debugging all day, trying to find the bug and fix it. Debugging takes hours for some human beings, right? And they may give that job to a computer system to debug something and then have the human being focus on something else. You know, that's productive, not just coding all day and trying to find a solution of a bug in the code. So what am I talking about? This even makes sense to you. I hope it does, because my whole point of this video is to help you think of of, of just being aware of what's taking place in your industry. It's not just tech, but other industries other fields basically just to be aware what's going on so you can start making some moves because i very much believe if one is aware they can start making moves because they know what's going on you're not blind you're not oblivious you you know exactly what they're trying to do in terms of industries or employers companies businesses you know exactly what they're trying to do and how could you participate or you know not get left behind when these new technologies become more mature and become mainstream. That's my whole point. How do you get involved? And that I think it starts by people doing research in in their industry to know exactly what they're trying to do because this may be the time for you to get out because this is what they want to do, right? So in the next five, six years or whatnot, you know, um, my job may be irrelevant. The The same thing applies to bookkeeping, accountant these jobs will become irrelevant as well a machine can do bookkeeping admin work so that's my whole point be aware you know start start making some moves man just kind of just do some serious research on your industry and, and see what they're trying to do if you're a trucker i think it's best to focus on tesla because they're they have self-driving semis already they're not on the road legally but they're out there so focusing on that to see how could you get involved with that technology how do you try to i'm not sure get involved in what tesla is trying to do in terms of you know semi trailer tractors could you fix the truck if it goes down are you able to you know, maintenance, you know, the truck when it goes down because someone has to do that. A human being has to watch the AI, the coding, the machines, the Kia. Someone has to fix these machines when they go down. So maybe that could be your job. But my whole point I'm just trying to make is be aware. Let's just be aware and go from there. Take action and do not get left behind. So that's my whole point to this, to this video is I hope you benefit from it by just thinking 
as a, a critical thinker, right? It just very much think for yourself and figure out what kind of moves you need to make to not get left behind when technology really does become more mature because it will at some point. So hope this made sense. Much love to you. Be safe out there. Thanks for watching. Peace.